You know, why does the preacher have to get up and talk about sin so much? Why is it that Paul's always talking about putting off the old man with his deeds and putting on the new man? Because we still have this flesh. You know, we still have this flesh to deal with in this life. He goes down there and says, you know, put on the new man. You know, why does the preacher have to keep talking about prayer and church attendance and Bible reading and soul winning? Why, and, you know, why does he keep harping on these things? Why do we keep having to be reminded of these things? Why does he say there, seek ye those things which are above? Set your affection on the things above and not on the earth. You know, why does the preacher always have to rip on, you know, not being covetousness, not desiring things that aren't yours, or, you know, the love of money? Or why does he have to preach on all these things all the time? Well, the same reason Paul did. The same reason Paul got after all these things. The preacher understands what Paul understands or understood. And what is it that Paul understood? What is it that the preacher understands? Well, what they understand is what Jesus taught. I mean, he knew what Jesus, his take on all this was. And that's why he preached the way he preached. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 21, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Jesus taught a great truth there. When he said, you know, the things that you value in this life, the things that are important to you, that's where your heart's going to be. You know, if your heart isn't pleasing God and walking after Him and His commandments and growing in Christ and in His knowledge, it's not going to happen. You know, you're not just going to walk, stumble into church and somehow just, you know, it's not just going to rub off on you and you're going to walk away just some, by, you know, osmosis or something like that. You're going to have to actually purpose in your life to do all these things, to mortify the members, to put off the old man, to put on the new man, to seek those things which are above. That's something you're going to have to determine to do in your life. And if you don't, your treasure will be somewhere. Mark my words, your treasure will be somewhere in this life. You know, you're going to value something. You're going to, there's going to be something that you desire, want to go after. There's going to be something that you want for yourself in this life. And that is where your heart will be also. 